The Riverbend area is one of those places that nobody cares about. You most likely won't find the towns here on a top 10 list of places to live or visit. It's a group of towns where people just seem to end up. And just from talking to people who live here, I feel like one of the few who didn't grow up here their entire life. It's like most people grow up here and never leave. So what's so special about this place? What keeps them here? Is there anything to do around here for fun? I started talking to my cousin about this, a Bethalto resident for his whole life. I asked him what he and his friends did for fun growing up. This conversation led me into an epic journey exploring the urban legends and secret places of the Riverbend area. Our journey started by taking Hills Road. It's actually called Snake Road, but nobody calls it that. It's Hell's Road. And if you hear someone tell you about some kid who died in a car accident, they'll probably tell you that it happened on Hell's Road, regardless of whether or not it actually did. People around here also tell of a story about a woman who came to a bridge on this road, killed her baby in the water, and hung herself off the bridge. And if you come to that bridge at night and turn your car engine off, it won't turn back on. My cousin tried it once, said it didn't work, but who knows, maybe he had the wrong bridge. Hell's Road is also a path that leads you to a series of places full of mystery and intrigue, such as the supposed Devil's Church or KKK Church, depending on who you talk to, an old abandoned house with creepy baby dolls in it, and the Witch's House, which I'm told if you get too close, she'll get ya. Along this path you also find an old cemetery with gravestones from the 1800s. I start asking for more crazy stories about scary stuff that supposedly happened in this area. I guess I was looking for a deeper reason for people coming out to places like this. But there really wasn't any more. People, kids mostly, came out here simply because in places like this, you gotta make your own fun. Then I realized something. It's places like Hell's Road that make that Riverbend area unique. When kids come out here, they make memories. And it's the fond memories of adventures like these with people that you care about, which keep folks living here for their entire lives. So, when outsiders just see a dinky small town with nothing to do, I guess you just gotta know where to look, and more importantly, who to look with.